with this AI agent, I can replace my Clay account and cancel the subscription. Costed me only $3 to personalize and enrich 1500 contacts, companies and do the personalizations. For this, you would at least need to pay $229 a month on the Clay, but you won't be able to use all API integration. So that's mean you would need to pay at least three, but I did it just for three cents using NATA. By the way, the template that I'm gonna show you, you can get in my Monetize AI Agent Automation School Community. You need to navigate to the classroom, go here to Premium AI Agents and choose the second AI agent email personalization. We will also use one API endpoint that you will be able to get inside our classrooms. So let's quickly go over how this workflow works. I have created this workflow that I can schedule either with a manual or schedule trigger. Here I have Google Sheets where I have specified the company names, URLs and Crunchbase profiles. On the first run, we read all the companies and we have 20 companies here inside in the sheet called Crunchbase. By the way, also the sheet you can get inside our school community. Then I want to limit only one at a time because a AI agent will not be able to handle so many records at the same time. And here we are deleting one record from the company, from this list. I will explain you later and you will also understand why. Then here in AI agent, we are using subnode OpenAI chat model. We are using a uh, chat GPT for all mini, but you can choose whatever you want. You can switch to which model you prefer. Then the second subnode is access the web. And this uh, subnode you can use to access uh, all the internet and scrape structured data. And we are using Puppeteer. And then the last is uh, structured output, where we specify how we want to see the output. And the output matches the same as here in uh, SCORED. We have ACP matching score, website, company name, business summary, value proposition, my value proposition number two, number three, email opener, and email opener three. I will also explain later why I have named these columns like this. Let's give a few seconds to run it. First thing, uh, OpenAI will understand the toolset, what he needs to use. Right now, he needs to access the crunch base and read all the details. Uh, and then we again call the OpenAI and provide the structured data in here in this format. Send to the Google Sheets, and then we're gonna go over the records. And here you can see. So here we have the output of uh, ICP matching 60 of 100. That's mean that this profile is really low on ICP matching for my company. So that's mean I, probably won't be able to outreach them. Then here we have the uh, company's website, the company's name, and here's the summary what the company does. You just quickly pause and read all the, about the company if you want. So here's the value proposition for the company that I can later use in my outreach. That, uh, it's like a personalization, like, hey, I noticed that your company empowers users to build these uh, decentralized social networks and so forth. And also here's my value proposition against their value proposition. And here's all email openers and so forth. So let's go quickly inside the AI agent and see how what is the uh, what is the instructions. So here I have uh, specified that you are sales uh, prospecting assistant. Your primary objective is to evaluate, analyze potential clients uh, for B2B sales, lead data, marketing services, which focuses on comprehensive data gathering and analysis. Here's the and uh, here's the input of the company name. We just uh, take from here and paste just like the company name here. The website you are URL is from here. We just copy and paste here and the Crunchbase profile. The tasks for this AI agent is to visit the Crunchbase profile. So if we just copy here Crunchbase profile and visit, we can see the company and uh, all the details about the company. Then uh, the AI agent need to review the company website and focus on about a page. So if we check how the uh, AI agent has run, first thing what he does, he goes to website and then he goes to the Crunchbase profile and get all the information structured. Second thing, he needs to do ICP scoring. So this helps us understand is the company right fit for us. So from 80 to 99, it's a high fit. Underneath uh, 80 up to, between 50 up to 79, it's medium and something below 50, it's like super low fit. And then he needs to uh, give us an output in uh, this uh, format I have specified. And also in output uh, JSON here, structured output JSON, we also have so, uh, specified how we want to. So you can do it as you wish. You can delete something. Uh, for example, if you don't want to have value proposition or my value proposition against their value proposition, you can switch uh, or adjust this as you wish. I prefer in this way because I know my email outbound sequence, which contains of uh, five touch points. I use every signal this 
as my personalization. So that's up to you totally. And here we just record to the sheet. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me something down below in the comments. And also it will be highly appreciated if you just give a like for this video and see you on next one.